Hey everybody, it's me, John Anthony Chihawk Soltero. I am the anti-hero, and I'm here today. Uh, it is, I guess we're going to call this Swap Meet Sunday. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a regular gig or not, um, but today I decided to try my hand going to Tucson's Tanka Verde Swap Meet to see if I could pick up some comics. I uh, did not find any comic books, but I did find uh, some Disney DVDs still shrink-wrapped and everything, super cheap. Um, and then uh, they're, they're guaranteed, but the, really, the even funnier and cooler thing was, is while I was walking around the grounds trying to locate somebody selling comics, um, I did find a $10 bill on the ground. So that meant my Disney DVDs were even cheaper than they already were. Um, but then I went to uh, an antique and collectibles mall that was recommended by a friend of mine named Bill Simpson, who worked on issue three of the Bubble Patrol. He did uh, about a quarter of the inks. He did nine pages of the 40-page book. Um, and interestingly enough, I found some books at the antique mall that he worked on, a full set, actually. So uh, I don't know if he worked on every single issue, but I'm going to show you some of the highlights of what I picked up. I did pick up uh, some dollar books, and um, some of the cool ones that I picked up, a few... Uh, a few indies called the all-new miniseries, or it's an all-new miniseries called Ralph Snart Adventures, issue number one. It did come with a trading card as well. Uh, I started watching Ultra Force on Tubi, and I've actually already finished it because it's only one season. Um, so for those of you who remember, like, the 90s, uh, this is the Protectors from Malibu Comics. This is a, it looks like, I don't know if this is a trade, an ash can, or what. Oh, and I did not notice it looks like the binding has come undone on this book, but it was only a buck. It's a Bart Sears, Brute and Babe, It Begins. That's unfortunate. Wish I had seen that, but it, it was only a buck, so it's okay. Uh, I picked up, I don't remember picking this one up, one from Lightning Comics called Judgment Day, issue seven. Uh, Cat Claw from Eternity Comics, issue number one. And then issue number one, The Mighty Thunder, King of the Congo. This is a reprint though, so uh, I'm pretty sure this is a reprint of some Golden Age. Goodness. And then I went to a second booth and found some really cool stuff as well. And um, I'm going to show you this. So this is the entire set of Star Wars Dark Empire Volume 2. And the thing that's cool about this is I believe it's issue 6. It's either issue 5 or issue 6 is the first appearance of of Han and Leia's twins, um, the, the Solo twins. And these are just beautifully painted covers. You've got Luke versus, it's almost like he's wearing Vader's costume, almost. You got a great, I'm not a Fett man, but you got a great Boba Fett cover. Uh, you got a Fett and uh, Han cover. Uh, yeah, and then the uh, what I guess would be called the party shot or the group shot of all the, the characters. So, um, but that's that's Dark Empire 2. That's the uh, series with Luke and Leia's twins. Um, then this is pretty cool because this I found that is the, the book series or the books that my friend Bill Simpson actually worked on. And I actually gave him a set of these earlier um, in the year or last year, I should say, because it's 2021 now. But Bill worked on an image book called Blood Pool with Pat Lee. I remember when these came out and I was reading them and rocking them. Oh, look, there's a Liefeld cover. And there's four issues to this series. Or actually, but this is five issues total because you get the 
the number one and then the live felt variant to number one too. So that's kind of cool. So you got two copies of number one. Um, I also found, this is a reprinting of the very first Evil Ernie story. Um, and I believe this is a first print of this. I know they've reprinted it several times. But let me just check. This is uh, Evil Ernie Youth Gone Wild. And this is a trade that's in really nice shape. Oh, it's a second printing, but still really nice. I'm not a huge Evil Ernie or Chaos fan. There's a couple characters in the in the universe that I like, like Chastity. Purgatory is pretty cool as well. Um, but uh, um, but mainly Chastity is is the character that I like. I also like the wrestling books that they did, and I got myself a, a Mankind uh, one shot last year. This is pretty cool. Animal Mystic, Dark One, Issues 1 through 4 set. And then some Comico books. Um, sometimes these are a little bit cheap. Oh, they're cheesy anyways. But um, sometimes these can be pretty hard to come by, especially in really good condition. Uh, Comico's Elemental Sexy Lingerie Special Chicago. And then uh, Elemental's first Sexy Collector's Lingerie issue. And this is from, looks like 1996. And then two more books. I got Babes of Broadway, number one. Um, I don't know many of you who might have remembered uh, Broadway comics or Broadway video entertainment. Um, just part of that 90s bad girl Thing. 90s books are really big right now, like uh, early image stuff, Malibu stuff. Um, not necessarily raking in big numbers in terms of resale, but there's a lot of nostalgia for it. Because all of us who grew up, and that's like when we started collecting, like now we have money to go back and get really nice copies of those. And fortunately, because it was the 90s, there are literally still millions of like near mint, pristine copies of those books out there. And then this is the last one I got. Jabba the Hutt, the Gar Supreme. Sapoon hit, also a Dark Horse uh, book. So pretty nice stack of comics. Um, uh, I Last night's show, Noncon, went really, really well. It was a little hiccup in it, and it was pointed out to me by, by one of my friends, uh, Morris from Lady T Comic Keys, and it was a phenomenal point. Um, so I will be sticking from that to that formula from here on out. Um, and I've got several uh, packages to put together and send out. Of course, they won't get shipped until Tuesday because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, and I'm just going to kind of sit around and work on the Bubble Patrol and some other projects and maybe look at pricing some of these books. Um, and uh, hoping you guys have a good and safe weekend and that um, your week is eventful. So until next time, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, um, wear your mask, wash your hands, stay home if you can. Uh, but by all means, and, and this is paramount, take care of each other. Thank you.